Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? <coughs> Me, Bigfoot Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. We got our 100% honest opinions right here of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Let's get it. This game is just whack. Uh, the game, the game, the game needs to be fixed on multiple levels. It's just not. It it don't go. It don't work. It's it don't go. <laughs> every, every every yeah, this game can't even pass go. And get collect two hundred goddamn dollars. <laughs> it, it's 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 broken almost every game after after a multiplayer game you're either lagged out kicked out of the lobby super laggy frames are terrible i, I, no I don't experience game. anything with frames like, dude, I, I, have. I think that's just you dude it's bad so, i mean there's sometimes but i mean it's very very rare for me like the other day i got on Same the game here. and my my frame rate i, I mean obviously i can't with my eye, just tell what my frames are running at. But it, I swear to God, it felt like 20 or 30 FPS the whole time. I think that's the ass stuck to speed. There's no guns in this game. It's legit. They went backwards from Modern Warfare. They just said, hey, let's just recopy it, but somehow make it suck. They didn't even try. They didn't even try. They don't care anymore. This has no passion into it. This is no, there's no passion. I want for had passion. This has no passion. Zombies has no passion. I feel like I'm playing. Enemy spy plane inbound. Like not Treyarch zombies. It's just not good. It's bad. Buy something else. It? Buy something else. Let's buy something else. It's not. Let's buy something else. This game is not so good. What's your rating? Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Uh, I mean, that's pretty generous given what you said about it. Yeah, for real. I'm not saying I mean, it's normally... the worst game ever. I'm not saying it's the worst game ever. Just for sixty dollars, this is like a forty dollar game. It feels cheap. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty. It's not. That. It's not even, dude. It's so. Uh, like I said, drastically different opinion, but. Ah, man, I can't touch on the- I cannot touch on the campaign, haven't even remotely looked at it, I haven't even clicked on the- the main title for it. Um, I hear it's pretty good, so we'll see. Multiplayer, I think it's a step above Modern Warfare, just as- as far as, like, playability and fun factor. Even though- and that's saying a lot, because I still don't think this game is very fun. I think the matchmaking system has kind of- took that away from us and I don't know if it'll ever come back and that's a shame but it is what it is it's gonna be what it's gonna be I think the content's lacking I think yeah, there's no content this the system and I, I like kind of like uh, Logan had said earlier I have Fortnite to blame for the fact that there's no content in this game because they kind of introduced that model of we're gonna give you six seasons we're gonna introduce new maps new guns and new features throughout the year but at the start of it we're going to give you this base game it's a template pretty much charge you 60 bucks for it and then call that a day and i think that's not fair i think for people like us they're, they're targeting the new community you know you hear that a lot you're targeting the, the newer players and i just don't think it's fair for the people that like us that have been buying the game since 2010 kind of shitty but like I said, it is what it is, and it's kind of our job to adapt to it, I guess, as messed up as that may sound. I think the gunplay is great. I think the the camos are amazing. The perks are nothing spectacular. You've seen this same layout for the past 14 years. Um, maps, they're not Treyarch maps. I'll never believe it. I think the assets that were left over and they mildly tweaked them as far as the aesthetic but the layout is just trash i mean like kind of like logan said earlier nuketown is the only map that in moscow i'll give moscow the benefit of the doubt it's the only maps that i really have fun on uh cross what's that map called crossroads strike yeah crossroads that strike, one's fun yeah. that one's kind of fun but it's literally it's another it's just another map it's just crossroads and they took a segment of it and called it a 6 and 6 map. Like, you can't say that's extra content when that's literally just scaled down version of another map. Like, that's kind of shitty. But, uh, zombies? I'm gonna go ahead and give zombies 
an eight out of ten. I think Zombies this year is great. I think the the changes they made once again targeted new players, but I also don't have a problem with them. As for most of the things that you would have a problem with, such as the player names, uh, health bars, you can turn all that off. I don't think you should have to. It shouldn't be there in the first place, but I understand that there has to be some kind of innovation from year to year. People, This community tends to complain about no innovation, and then whenever people innovate, they think like it's the worst thing. And it's like, well, well what do you want? They, they tried their hand at innovating, and now you're mad about it. And, and that's not fair to the developers. Because they're really just working with, especially this year, a very limited set of tools, very limited time frame. And uh, I think that we have a good game going forward. Just right now, it's got a lot of work that needs to be done. And it's a shame that most of that work won't be done until April or May of next year, whenever we're already talking about the next title. That's a real shame, but at the end of the day, it's just our job to take it for what it is and enjoy it enjoy what we have and be grateful that we even have a title this year when they very easily could have just said screw it and not put one out that was a, i mean i was i was scared for a little while that, that was going to happen y'all remember whenever we literally didn't hear of this game existing until like what september yeah so normally it's like may or june you know you start seeing teasers and leaked gameplay no it was like early October before we or late September before we even knew this game existed and that, that was kind of scary so mm -hmm. the fact that we have a game at all I gotta hand it to them I'm not really going too hard on them this year last year I hated Modern Warfare it, uh, they had all the resources all the assets and they fucking blew it so it is what it is I still enjoy the game if I had to give it a rating I'd go ahead and say a 7 out of 10 okay okay so I think people seem to forget when it comes to games and, you know, first impressions that all the shit that's going on in the world and, you know, like Ricky said, the, the pandemic um, and what it, I don't think people really realize what it takes to make a game because you have to work with people who are from a different company who are paying a per certain percentage for that game and they also have a say in it and you have to argue ideas and all this crap and it especially when you're working at home and you're not you're only able to do it through calls zoom calls or whatever that they did um but you know, having said that, I I feel like game this game multiplayer wise is a lot better than it probably should have been. You know, judging from the pandemic and everything, um, they really they really did a good job. I mean, this year has been the hardest for everyone, and they did a really good job on the multiplayer. I, I mean, you know, I know there's not a lot of guns, and I, I, I honestly, I don't really like that, but judging of what they did during this time, I'd say it's they did pretty damn good. Um, now, like Ricky said, the, the maps, yes, Nuketown, Nuketown and... Um, what's the other map Moscow? Said, Ricky? Moscow, Moscow yeah. or Crossroads? Uh, yeah, I agree with Moscow, but uh, Moscow and Nuketown are really the only maps that I like playing. I mean, of course I'll like them if I do good, but I mean, the, over the overall maps are just not that good compared to what they used to be. And, you know, take it, fr take it from a guy who's played this game for about a decade <laughs> and uh, seen all the stuff they've done with Call of Duty and bought all the Call of Duty games and uh, having been feeling like he's screwed over only playing a couple days of a game he bought for $60 um, 
this game is definitely a lot better than those past games. And the multiplayer wise, it's yeah. It, I I'd, I'd give the multiplayer about about an eight out of ten compared to the last Call of Duty's who've come along in the past. Um, the zombies, though, I I mean the zombies, it's I I don't really know what to say about the zombies. The zombies is kind of iffy. It's kind of like you know you they in, implemented all this stuff and. I, yeah, you can turn it off, but I I feel like the zombies is just kind of handicapped for the people who haven't played, and for the guys who've played for almost a decade. You know, the, you play the zombies and you're like, wow, this this is easy, you know. And yeah, you can turn it off, but you also get to start with every gun that you want. And I understand there's tears, but that gun can last you about 10 rounds until it's useless. So, and also they started out with one map, so I, I just don't, zombies I'd probably, zombies I'd probably give it like 4 out of 10. I don't I really just don't think the zombies is that good. Overall, general, general game, I'd probably get a seven. Logan, I want to hear everyone's opinion on this, and I know it's been beaten like a dead horse on every video you've probably seen re regarding this game. But do you ever think we're gonna see casual pubs? Like we used to in Black Ops 2, and even up to even up till I'd say Black Ops 4. Y'all yeah, think we're ever gonna see that again? Because I I really I'm not hopeful for it. I don't think we ever will. Well, in this game it does say ranked playlist. Uh huh. I yeah. I don't know if they're like, gonna have ranked playing season one. But does I don't that know if they're gonna involve something with a ranked play. There, I, I don't know if it's just a leftover asset in the game. I just says that uh, we'll find out probably in season one. See, I and I've heard. That. I think there might I've heard, be. I've heard that that's going to be a thing, right? But I think everyone's missing. The, everyone's like, oh, they're going to introduce ranked. It's going to be fine. The casual is going to come back. Just because they put ranked in, I don't think that means that they're obligated to tone down whatever fucking matchmaking system they have going on here. I don't think it's going to go back. Okay, they'll put ranked in. Great. But does that mean that all of a sudden we're going to go back to a connection-based matchmaking? Probably not. No. And that we're definitely really not going back me. to that. That's, that's the most upsetting part. Like, just knowing how easy it would be for them to fix it and just... And I know I'm not alone in this because this is all you see on YouTube nowadays, but, like, that's my biggest issue with this game is the matchmaking. And I know it would just be so simple to put that connection-based matchmaking back in and ease everyone's I fears. Going back to the fun. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, I think, in my opinion, it should be connection first. Uh -huh. Then it should be skill. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it was in Black Ops 2. They connection first, and then once you got into a lobby, that's whenever they kind of balanced you out. And mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. you're just not seeing that. Yes, so my opinion here. Multiplayer, again, the guns feel good. I mean, I'm, I'm sick and tired of dying to the same stuff over and over and over and over again. Uh, but that's the way Call of Duty is. I mean, it's mostly AUGs, SMGs, MP5s, M16s, stuff like that. Sometimes that does get annoying. And you're just going to have the same gun kill you over and over and over again. I know people want to get that gun gold and stuff, but some people, after they use it, they're just like, I'm going to use the best weapon. And those are the best weapons right now. We saw the MP5 get nerfed two days, which is amazing that Treyarch did that. But now the mm -hmm. AUG's been ruling for two weeks, and nothing's happened to it. Yeah, you have the not first three shots on the guy, and then boom, he turns on you, one burst you anywhere, and you're dead.
It could be in the knee, and you die. But that that does take off a lot from that. It's just some of the some of the meta right now is just impossible to beat unless you use that gun. That's why I'm giving the multiplayer six. Uh, I mean, some of the stuff is cool, like perk greed. You have every single one on there. I mean, yes, the guns are exactly like from Modern Warfare with the gunsmith and stuff, which I thought was a good idea. It's just I think you got to create your own a little bit. Uh, maps again, Moscow, a good one. Nuketown, pretty much what I'm going to be playing from now on. Anyways, um, other map checkmates, garbage. Um, oh, cartel, trash. I can't fucking see half the things because there's weed everywhere or whatever it is, cocaine it's or cocaine. whatever. I don't even know what it was. But no, I agree. I think I think the only real map that is uh, I'm capable of having any fun on right now is Nuketown or Moscow. And it kind of, I mean, when when you don't want to play 85 percent of what the game, game has to offer, it's kind of like, well, you know. No, yes, on December 10th, uh, there is going to be more shit added to the game. More, uh, There's going to be zombies modes, apparently, coming to the game. There's going to be uh, more maps, more multiplayer modes, stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm just... I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really nervous I'm looking forward for whether or not it's going to be good. Zombies <laughs> modes. I'm looking forward to everything going to be in the new game, like in the new update. And I heard they're supposed to be bringing back like three, uh, three. I think there's only three six v six maps, from what I'm told. I'm uh, getting I all believe this so. From I, like, I do. I hopefully there is going to be some remasters, like raid. If they may remake raid, oh man. I'm so, I'm be so happy. Just remake at raid. this point, yeah. I, at this point, they need remakes. Uh, campaign. Of course, it's a it's a Treyarch game. They're gonna have a really good campaign. Uh, Cold War is does not it doesn't be taken away. I mean, yes. Uh, a lot of people sound different, Mason included. Uh, but you have to remember, these guys created the game probably in five, six months. You have, yeah. you know, everything that's going on in the world right now. Just did. But, zombies, yes, the loadout is kind of weird, I would say. But, I mean, it's it's new. It's a brand new story. I mean, it, it, it's great that you they started out with Noct and everything. And we're going to get... We're going to get maps. We're going to get uh, some other stuff happening. I mean, Zombies Modes, again, is coming on December 10th. Uh, we don't know what those are. I mean, we could definitely uh, find out what they are very, very soon. Um, but we just gotta survive for a little bit to figure out what they are. Uh, my guess, probably one of the modes is gonna be Grief. One likely is gonna come back, which Ooh, I really I hope, hope so. that is. Uh, I think that'd be fun. Um, I wish they would come War back. Zombies? Yeah. The Black Ops 2 Zombies was kinda... The Cold War Zombies, I feel like that could work. Oh yeah. 100% could work. A little weird. I mean, yes, they do more damage, but I think, of course... You have stuff in the game for that already. Double tap, mule kick. Uh, hope I I really wish Vulture's Aid would come back uh, oh. from Black Ops 2. Vulture's Aid would be a great addition to this game. I uh, forgot. I think as well as another one, um, who's who on another map would be cool as well. Uh, not, of course, not, because that's way too small of a map to do that. Um, and you already have self-revives. But we will, uh, we will definitely see on that as well. And, but yeah, I, I probably give this, uh, whole game a 6 out of 10. In my opinion, it could definitely be way better. I'm giving them a lot of benefit of the doubt. 
because of what everything is going on. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Anything? Yeah, that has add? been our 100% honest feedback review of the game so far, given what we've uh, been presented. If you share the opinion, go ahead and leave it in the comments and remember to like and subscribe. It's always oh, free. Yeah. I just stole your fucking outro and you're going to take you it. Leave a like. It is free. Unless you want to pay me. <laughs> Unless yeah, you want to pay me, I'll, drop my, Venmo, I'll drop my Venmo in the description. That'll be there. I'll, <laughs> I'll drop a Venmo. <laughs> I really need new shoes. Patreon and play this game. I have <laughs> definitely played this game a lot. I really need new shoes. My shoes have no soles on them. Please pay me money. <laughs> I need new shoes. But anyways, that is going to be it for the day. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Slam it. Like it. Do whatever you want. Punch it in the hit fucking subscribe face. As well. If you want some more videos, there's going to be somewhere on the screen. If you want to subscribe, they're going to be somewhere on the screen. I don't know where it's going to be yet, but yeah, it's going to be there. They'll be there. You guys, yeah. You guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.